This video is brought to you by McCall's Quilting and Handy Quilter. Welcome to Block Builder's Workshop. My name is Erin Russick and I'm an assistant editor here at McCall's Quilting. Today I'm going to show you how to quilt this London Roads block. This is a traditional block that will be patterned in McCall's Quilting. I really like these strong design, um, their arrows in this block and I want to do my quilting so it makes those really pop. Um, so I'm gonna do a kind of a dense paisley in the background that will make those arrows pop up. So uh, let's get started. So today I'm quilting on the Handy Quilter Sweet 16. This is a dedicated machine quilting machine. Um, as you can see, it has this really big table which makes quilting um, a quilt even bigger than this really easy. Uh, you don't have to worry about your quilt falling off or worrying about struggling with it. Um, I love quilting on the Sweet 16. So I'm going to get started here. I'm going to want to start towards the center. I'm going to start here and I'm going to try to follow this arrow in and out so I can make it really pop. To get started, I want to bring my bobbin thread up and then I pull it up with my top thread. So this design is a paisley design and it's really easy. It's just three loops, but sometimes you can use uh, one or two depending on how much space you are trying to fill and how tight things are getting. The trick is you wanna keep things as uniform in density as possible. So I'm just gonna get started and I'm gonna make my first loop, my second loop, and my third loop. Now I'm going to do the same thing here. And what's really great about this pattern, now I'm just going to, to keep it looking uh, really free, I'm going to do a couple loops out here, more in the background area. Uh, what's really great about this pattern is you can get really in tight to things. Um, I love to use this in an applique block because I can get really close to my appliques and really make them pop out. And there's a very nice rhythm to this pattern so you can kind of get into the, it's like a zen of it almost. Now because I'm going into this tight area, I've Probably I'm going to switch over to just doing a couple loops here. And I'm getting really close to my arrow, but not on it. But if you, if you sew over it, don't worry about that too much. And you just want to keep going. around and now you're just going to go back out and fill in where you didn't sew before and that way you can get in and out of a tight space. I'm going to need to readjust my hands here a little bit, so I'm just going to move the quilt and then I'm just going to continue with my design. You should always stop before you move your hands, uh, unless you're really, really good at that, which I'm not. So you just have to go slow and get the feel of it and fill in all that tight space. Now I want to go really close to these little triangles here to make them pop out and then come back out. And now I've gotten into that tight space and I'm now I'm coming out. And now I'm just gonna go on over to this other arrow shape and do the same thing. So you're going to want to continue doing the same pattern exactly, fill all your white space with it. I know it looks really complicated, but it's actually really fun and I hope you give it a try. Thanks.
This video is brought to you by McCall's Quilting and Handy Quilter.